design of um, one of the projects here in Crawley. Thought we'd start outside um, this week because um, basically one of the, the the electrical meter, which is currently in the downstairs toilet, which we're going to be putting in a shower, obviously has to be moved because you can't have a shower in that um, room. So we had to ask UK Power Networks to come and change the meter from inside to outside and the head unit and whatever. Anyway, they were supposed to come, uh, I think it was September 9th, and we managed to get them in early. So the builders had to dig, because, sorry, because the cable was lead, they had to dig a meter deep lay new cable they had to connect it out here because they couldn't just connect it because it would have snapped or something like that because of what it was made of so they dug a trench here connected it here then managed to bring it all around here and make a new box here then we had a problem whereby when UK Power Networks went to fix it to the meter which was owned by EDF or NPAL or someone like that the meter was faulty so they couldn't actually connect it in because the connections were broken or snapped or something so um, obviously because we're not the account holders because this is a client's property they would only speak to the client so I had to phone the client to say can you please um, call up uh, Empower or whoever it was uh, get them to come out they were originally saying they could only come out for within 10 working days or something like that we managed to get them out the next day they came in, they sorted it, um, and so, yeah, it was a big 24 hour headache, but we managed to get it sorted in the end. So now, on the inside, I'll show you, there's now a temporary uh, consumer unit inside. Which had to uh, be signed off. Which had to be signed off, yeah. For them so, to do it, which is ridiculous. Yeah, so luckily, um, one of the builders that was on site was is also in a, a qualified electrician, so he could make the temporary connection, and then um, it will be moved later on, so I'll show you that bit now. So, um, as you can see, this is now vacant because uh, everything that was in here is now outside or here. So this is the temporary um, unit that will be moved all the way across to the top of the room, sorry, the top of the wall in the hallway so it will no longer be in this room so we can put the shower in here. In terms of moisture and that being a problem with electrics, this will all now be safe um, after that's moved. Uh, so yeah, all of this is now being sorted, um, signed off, then <laughs> we've had another problem, <laughs> um, basically, so if you remember we're converting the conservatory to um, a permanent structure to make into an extra bedroom, um, we originally we thought maybe we could use the foundations that the conservatory was built on, when they then uncovered the foundations there was no foundations, it was just a concrete slab, which was fine for conservatory because conservatory isn't very heavy, but for what we were wanting, it wasn't enough. So if I take you outside, so I think where we left it at last week was we were digging the foundations, which had to be two meters deep because there was a drain running along here. So they had to go below the drain, build the foundations there so that any movement wouldn't affect the drain. When they were continuing to dig, along this line here, which you can't see now because it's been covered up, but they then came across a storm drain, which there's no way on earth that anyone will let you build on top of a storm drain. Uh, so that posed a really big problem because what are we then going to do with the foundations because they run right in the middle of it. Um, so what we're now hoping to do, um, we're going to an engineer to design a, we're going back to a con concrete slab option. So we'll build a concrete slab on top of this, which will be what they called a floating slab. So it kind of moves a little bit, not too much, but it moves a little bit so therefore it doesn't affect the drains. Um, and we can build over the top of it. So we're now going to fill back in all this, which obviously we got rid of all the dirt. Um, you know got rid of it so we're now having to use the dirt that's on here to fill this in and then i think they've probably run out of dirt now which is why they've stopped um and you're gonna have to get more to infill that and then we're going to be building the concrete slab over the top so yeah it's been it's been uh what would i say like a little bit stressful but there's you know you can't get affected by these things you've just got to think of the next solution so we've we've had one plan 
we've had to change that plan because of something else. We've had another plan that's been scuppered by coming across a storm drain. Um, so now we're on to the third option. Um, but that's the one thing with Groundworks is that you, you never really know what's going on um, until you dig down and then you find out. So uh, yeah, you can't really get the head up about it. We've now got another solution. Hopefully that one will now work um, and we can finally get this uh, conservatory built. Uh, the builder says to me that that will be quite a quick process once we've got the foundation sorted, slab sorted. Um, and in the meantime, they've taken out the window upstairs because that was also dependent on this conservatory. But that's going to be filled in so they can do the works upstairs. Um, they've, if I, we come back inside. There's lots of electrical works happening down here. So these are for um, smoke alarms and sensors and stuff. Uh, there's, you can see, it's quite dark in here, but um, we're chasing down club points here. This will be the TV unit here. Um, so yeah, various electrical points and work is being done in here and in the room next door. Um, I'll take you upstairs, I think. Some of the boarding is has been happening upstairs. So yeah, all of this has been boarded up. I'm not sure if that was done last it week. Was, but, yeah. oh. Well, like I said, because they've been dependent on what's going on with the conservatory here, um, now that this can be blocked up, they'll now start doing the second fixing in in here, um, putting down shower trays and stuff. Um, I'm not sure what else. I think that's it. For I don't me. think anything up else has happened up here. I think the we said about the chimney stack coming out in the last vlog. Yep. So. So yeah, um, that's the update. Um, and hopefully now things will really start running. I mean, when you're dependent on other third parties coming in I and mean, we were really lucky that UK Power Networks could come in earlier because that means that the electrical works can um, be gotten on with a bit earlier than, than was expected so uh, it's nothing nothing you can do about it really um, other than just manage the situation and find solutions and things so uh, yeah not ideal but this is what you come up against in, in some properties so um, just got to deal with it really. So yeah, see you next time and uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you later.